Well, hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and this is Mark English, the morning. Avebury explorer. <laughs> and uh, Mark, just come this way a fraction, yes, there course, we go. Yeah, we, are, we are not quite in Avebury. This is part of the videos that we're doing on our Avebury collection. Avebury. Avebury. I have a lip problem uh, <laughs> that affects my yeah. talking. Avebury. And, but we're not Avebury, so I haven't got to worry too much about that. We have come to have a look at two things today. One is behind me. Silbury Hill. Silbury Hill, the ancient, mysterious Very hill. mysterious. The largest man-made The land. largest man-made prehistoric structure in Europe. Possibly, in, I think, the world. There you go. Um, so we'll have a look at that a bit later on and talk about that. But first, we're going to somewhere famous. Now, I've been here before. Uh, it's a, I guess it's a pilgrimage for a lot of people yeah. into megalithic stuff, just as Avebury is. The West Kennet. Long Barrow. Long 5, Barrow. 5,500 year old uh, burial mound, um, Neolithic. A lot of people know it's one of the best, probably the best preserved burial mound in uh, the UK. Um, open access for National Trust, so we can go in there and have a look around. Can't wait, can't wait. We've just gone through uh, cautiously a field of cows, but actually they've all dis yeah, dispersed, yeah. 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 So, shall we crack on? I know, yeah. yeah. Even that short time we've been talking, it's warmed up already. It's so. warmed up, yeah. It's only 23 sun. degrees today, so... There we'll is a sort advantage. of lovely mist as well around, mm -hmm. which just gives the place a bit of an ethereal um, feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So we like all that, because we make videos, don't we? When we're ethereal video makers. Let's ethereally get up there, shall Let's we? Let's go, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Well, here we are, yeah. Mark. Yeah. The West Kennet Long Barrow, there it is. Fantastic, what a lovely thing. I've been here before, of course, a few times, mm -hmm. and one time when I did some video, and you've obviously been up mm -hmm. here filming this delightful and very historic monument. What can you tell us about it? What can you tell our viewers who, who may never have seen it? Um, it's an open access property owned by the National Trust. Um, it's a 5,500 year old burial mound. Uh, that the ancients would have uh, put certain members of their tribe in, we imagine. When it was excavated properly, they found lots of scattered bones. Nothing was actually in place, so one body of bones wasn't together. It was scattered with others. There was a bunch of children, uh, some adults, so it might have been sort of the chieftains of the family. But they, the speculation is that they would actually have been put in the, uh, in the barrow when all the skin had been decomposed, when the body would have decomposed. They left it out in, out in the open, so uh, to let the birds and yeah, everything... Yeah, take all the flesh off. Take the flesh off, yeah, and, and that's interesting. Sounds, yeah, it sounds quite gruesome, I know, but... Uh, yeah, and then they were buried with all the bones. I mean, so they've been plundering over the years, you know, trying to get into the barrow before archaeology was a proper thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of the best preserved. Um, and the great thing is you can go in. Now, when I came here before, I read up, and I think on my History You Can Touch video, um, I did some graphics which showed the evolution of these barrows mm -hmm. where they started as a wooden structure and then they improved the size of the wooden structure and then they used stone as we can see That's and right, covered yeah. it with with earth um, and I believe out the front there was a, a wooden frontage uh, I don't know. Um, it could be that was burnt down that, that's mm. you know who knows because it's, everything's circumstantial mm. really based on what we find archaeologically mm. I mean, with anything with where there's been wooden post holes, there's usually evidence of uh, ancient wood, petrified wood, where the, where the post holes yes. are. So they can pretty much work out how old that wood is. Okay, all right, and make a sort of recon computerized reconstruction of what it would like. Yeah. I mean, that, there was a big uh, stone that didn't seal it. It's only sort of when about, I, think, I can't remember how long after the it was sealed up. It was properly sealed up with that giant stone over there. We'll go in and have a look. Um, but also we're quite high up and the, the great thing is you've got some terrific views so if you were going to put you know something of significance that you wanted people to see and probably the outer skin again was yes. white because of the chalk people would see it for miles mm. you know they didn't have GPS or uh, OS maps no. I, I mean that's the thing they did no the, the <laughs> The, um, the, the consensus is that they have the ancestors looking over the tribes and the, and the people living below down the valleys. Yeah. So. In the shadow of Silbury Hill. Should we go in and have a look? I think so. Should we I go? I think so. I think so. It's Come exciting. On. Come on. Oh, 
Well, this is magnificent, isn't it? West Kent Long Barrow. We are in the far end now, uh, the biggest chamber, right at the far end. The the barrow itself goes on for almost a hundred feet. Yes, about that. Yes, about hundred feet. And and yet the the bit that you can access, the bit with the megalithic stones and all of this, is at uh, what end is this? The south end. Uh, it's not the south no, then, end, because they have appeared, the north, don't they? Yeah, I think it's the east. I'm not yeah. sure. Well, we're at, we're at the only end that you can get in. Could you go further, or what? No, was it's just, in no, it's just earth. It's just earth. This was the main barrow. And so, what was the significance of the length, and then just the birth out of the earth? Um, probably just to, to, to level out the ground, really. Obviously, when they've channeled, made this, and built it up um, with all with all the stone. They need earth on top of it as well, so it's yes. Sort of back but in why time so now. long that you can't get in? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Didn't just because it made by being longer, it was more visible. No, some barrows actually I don't know aren't that long. You know, no. Yeah, but you know, if you look at sort of round barrows like we saw yesterday, yes, um, they're just no. I re yeah, I'm just wondering why you would go to the trouble mm. of making it so much longer and then not be able to get in. No, that's, no idea. That's why. I'm, yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying. Is it speculatively? Mm. It's on the top. It's right on the brow of the hill. Mm. By making it long, and it would be white. It would surely be so much more visible mm. as this line of white sparkling in the sun. Possibly. Mm. I mean, who knows? Who knows? You're, you're yeah. right. It's you're right. This is what's the, the, the bit that sort of. Well, yeah, no, yeah. I, no. I, I, I agree. It just seems. It just seems odd that they made it so long. Mm. And it has no function. No. Because why? It's so much work. Yeah, exactly. It's that silver ball. Silver is even a lot more work. We've done work that that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it is a mystery. It's interesting. But you can come and you can see all these and you can touch the stones. Yeah, it's open access. They're very well weathered now mm. where visitors have come in and touched. Um, and it's not spooky or anything. I don't feel any. You know, spooky. Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't feel uncomfortable. No, well, that's psychology, isn't it? Because you're coming into a place that was a burial mound. You know, although no one probably died here, we don't know for sure, obviously. But no. this was a burial mound, so um, a place of honour, really. But yeah. yeah, you know, we we've done some stuff in here. Some ex interesting experiments with sound and ultrasound. Um, and what did you find? Uh, just interesting peaks. Interesting peaks. What does that mean? Uh, peaks in your ultrasound and, and uh, you've got ultrasound and infrasound, right. which are lower than our hearing oh, okay. capacities. These little devices to see if there's any fluctuation. Because there's always extra sound going on. That's why animals yeah. are so sensitive. Oh, okay. We haven't got the, the animal's ear. Right. Anything, so. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's just have a little stroll round. I think so, yeah. I think so. taking a stroll down the length of um, this wonderful barrow and as you say it's about a hundred feet yeah, about that. you can just about make out the far end there where the the entrance the stone and entrance and the megalithic beauty is and you j it's just amazing countryside but behind us is Silbury Hill um, tell us come over here and tell us a little bit about Silbury Hill and We'll go and visit it in a sec. Uh, Silbury Hill, it's um, about 5,500 years ago. Uh, same period as this? Same period. It would have been here when they were building this, or before, or after? Not or sure, around, probably around the sort of, when we say around the same time, give or take 500, 600 years, yeah. you know. Um, and it was started in late summer, about say, about the same time, late summer, about 5,500 years ago. Uh, originally it would have been a great big chalk structure, and we've been seen for miles around, like a real beacon on the landscape. Uh, the ancient man would have seen and maybe had been attracted to to come and visit. Purpose of it, and say, no one knows. They've Curious been, yeah. that it's built in a dip. We're we're pretty much the highest point mm. until you get to other hills. And Why you would, just yeah. and you said, you know, it would have been there on the landscape. But actually, this is a more visible sight than that. Yeah, it I is mean, now. It wouldn't have been back then because the chalk from that would have been glistening. But yeah, interesting. Why they built it down in the ditch? ditch? In a yeah. ditch. Yeah. yeah. Um, if if that's if it was to be seen, but that may not because we don't know the purpose. No, we don't. No one knows the purpose. Everyone speculates. Everyone yeah. with theories. A lot of archaeologists come out with various theories. Is it? We don't we, think it's a burial mound because there's no evidence of any burials in there. Are we allowed to go up it? No. We're not. No. We can't walk to the no, top because of corrosion. 
and natural trust put a complete ban on that and quite naturally so it's, it's very there's also a few points along the, along the, when you walk up the uh, scarp of it uh, that are unstable so they prefer people not to go up here certainly worth coming to look at though oh absolutely yeah, absolutely definitely. i mean yeah. it's such an impressive structure a lot of people just think it's a normal hill if they don't know the archaeology or the history of the area they think it's a normal hill they must be mad because you only have to see the shape yeah like how does that it looks unusual into yeah, the landscape exactly. it is a mole hill uh, and obviously it's not done by a mole no no matter what i've said in a previous video no. anyway listen we've run out of time we're at the West Kennet Long Barrow in Wiltshire, near Avebury. It's definitely a place to come and visit, as you saw. But come for yourself and get the vibes, mm. get the energies, get the Leylands lines. The Leylands. Get, get, <laughs> get over here. Yeah. Please come. Thank you, Mark. You're Another very brilliant one. And do come when it's great weather like this, because yeah. it's just magic. We've been blessed. So, I'm going to race you to the far end as the credits roll. Okay. So. See you next time. Ready? Yeah. Two, three, go! go.